mentioned, it's Love Week here on CBS2 as we count down the days until Valentine's Day next week, right? Today's yeah. topic, dating after 40. Even though you may be older and wiser, there are still some dating do's and don'ts to consider. And joining us to talk about that is Talia Goldstein, operator and uh, owner of the professional matchmaking service, Three Day Rule. Ooh. Well, today we're talking about dating after 40, Talia, and then you have some different rules, and you say you might give to a millennial looking for some love, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my first piece of advice is don't take advice from your niece because millennials text too much, they swipe too much, and they judge too quickly, and dating after 40 is a different animal. So just because your niece is doing one thing does not mean you have to do that, too. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and uh, the second don't, uh, don't text? Yes, don't over text. Okay. So when you're having an exchange with someone, text a couple times, and then get to meet them in real life. If you're texting too much, you're going to waste too much time and you won't end up meeting great people in person. Okay, that's a good one. Well, I guess better than, I, I mean, I'm just, I'd rather call somebody, but okay. Yes, you yeah. can call, but that's today, better. But today, it's okay. Yeah, the millennials, different story. <laughs> now, the third don't when it comes to dating after 40, you say don't get discouraged. Right. Oh. Dating is so difficult, yeah. so it's really important to stay positive, even if you're going on some crappy dates. I promise <laughs> there are amazing singles out there. I love the way you said that. Crappy dates. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Best way to put it. Right. Okay, so number four, uh, don't put it off. Yes, it's so easy to make excuses. You want to lose 10 pounds. You have a uh, great yeah, show on yeah. Netflix. You're working too much. <laughs> but if love really is important to you, you have to make it a priority. Okay, so it almost sounds like you have to, it's almost like a job. But it a fun job, right? Yeah. Gosh. It's right? like yeah. another well, hopefully it's job. A good job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the last don't, don't be afraid to ask for help. Just not your e your niece. So yeah. Yeah. or your nephew, if they're younger than you, way younger. So who should we ask? Yeah. A matchmaker. We can do the work oh. for you. Huh. So we ideally will set you up with the love of your life, but at the very least we can make you a more confident dater and save you time and energy. Hmm. All right. Things That's to good. do then. Um, so you want to change up your dating apps. Right. Basically, so right? if you like online dating but you're stuck in a rut, change it up. If last year you were using Tinder, this year try Hinge or Match. <laughs> or you can even join some meetup apps. For example, Stitch is a really great one for over 50. You know what's so, so um, about this? I've never heard of any of those, right? <laughs> no. Except for that Tinder app. I heard about that Tinder app, but, but Does, Hinge and... Okay, yes. I hope yeah. you guys are writing that down now. <laughs> Aside from new dating apps, so you suggest trying new activities. Now, that's pretty important, right? It is and important what? because you have to meet people in the real life. So if you're active, join a hiking group. If you love to cook, sign up for a cooking class. When you do things that you love, you become your best self, and then you're more attractive to others. That makes sense. Um, okay, as long as it's not too adventurous, right? I mean, <laughs> if it bends your thing. Sky diving, sky diving, sky diving, probably. Uh, also, you suggest this now. Uh, in, I don't know if you know this, Pat. Seventh grade, I was voted biggest flirt. Oh yeah, I'm just so, so shocked. So, <laughs> so let's see it. So shocked. So one of the one of the things you suggest is be flirtatious. Yes, and this is actually really hard for a lot of people, but it is so important. Be aware of the energy that you're sending, mm -hmm. and remember that your match can be anywhere. So when you're at Starbucks or you're at the gym, your person might be there too. So put down your phone and make eye contact and smile. Uh, except if they have on a wedding ring. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> well, okay. sure, that's Look at the hand idea. first. Yeah. <laughs> now, and you say have some fun, which can be tough for those that are a little nervous about yeah. venturing into the dating world after 40. Yes, right. if you dread dating, you have to change your mindset right now. You must, you must have fun. And even if you're on a date with someone that isn't your soulmate, find some way to enjoy yourself. Okay. There you go. That's All good. Right. So be open-minded. This no matter is what, the most... No, no more than negative. Glass half full is what you're saying. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's my philosophy in yeah. life. Sounds good. So well, I'm going to join you in matchmaking. Because <laughs> <laughs> Talia goes, yeah, okay. Pat, thanks for that. <laughs> and thanks, Ty. One of uh, Talia's <laughs> matchmakers, Clancy, is going to be here tomorrow oh. to continue Love Week. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about getting back out there after... <laughs> heartbreak or divorce. There are a lot more do's and don'ts to come. Thanks again.